Hey, I think uh, I think we'll get started. Um, thank you very much for for joining me today. Good morning or good afternoon, uh, depending on where you're located. My name is Hugh Peterson. I am the product manager for our PIPS Pro software, uh, among other things, at uh, Standard Imaging. But today I'm going to uh, kind of do a just an overview uh, of the uh, the PIPS Pro software. It's our machine QA uh, software package. Uh, covering a number of different tests for uh, TG142 uh, and beyond. And my PowerPoint always takes a second to wake up, so hopefully we'll move forward here. Any second now, there we go. <laughs> so um, like I said, it's, uh, it's an easy machine QA for TG142. We also um, can incorporate that now into our um, what we call QA Fusion, which is a combination of our uh, our PIPS Pro uh, software and then automatic push into uh, our QA Pilot software, which is our QA database management software. So I'll touch on that briefly, but uh, we do have webinars also that include the uh, PIPS, uh, the, I'm sorry, the QA Pilot. And uh, those are always scheduled as well. You can check our website for that. Bit of housekeeping real quick. Um, the, uh, the This is being recorded, so any uh, any of your colleagues that may not have been able to uh, attend today, you can share the link with it when, you, when you're emailed, or if you want to revisit the uh, presentation uh, to uh, take a look at it because you think I did such a great job of showing it uh, or not, uh, might need to just kind of look and uh, see what, what the heck I was talking about. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, also, um, you're on mute uh, just for expedience of time. There is a question uh, box that you can enter your questions into and I'll address them at the end. And uh, look, look forward to, uh, and we'll be happy to uh, answer those questions for you. Just a quick bit about uh, standard imaging. We, were, uh, we are based in Middleton, Wisconsin, which is just, uh, just west of Madison. We've got a very good relationship with the uh, University of Wisconsin Calibration Lab in Madison, as well as the University uh, Hospital and the uh, Carbone Cancer Center there as well. We were founded in 1989, so we we're just um, pushing 32 years now and uh, have basically been uh, designing and manufacturing a full suite of QA products uh, for radiation therapy since day one. Most notably, probably our first uh, product of, uh, of recognition was our well chamber, the HDR 1000. And uh, we also have a number of different phantoms for stereotactic, for IMRT, uh, line of electrometers, our MAX uh, 4000, our Super MAX electrometer, and uh, also a line of X ray nine chambers from the smallest of the small with a 0 0.007 A16 um, up to our large spherical chambers for environmental, as well as different detectors like our uh, commercially available uh, scintillation detector, our W2 and W1 uh, scintillation detectors, and diodes, uh, et cetera. Also have a whole host of different software packages and feel free to uh, peruse our website. We do webinars on just about all those uh, software packages uh, weekly. So you can kind of check our website for that schedule. But like I mentioned today, I'm going to uh, jump into um, our PIPS Pro software. And the PIPS Pro software, um, again, like one, one last thing I'll just note, uh, um, this is a quick overview. Uh, hopefully get you out of here in about 20, 25 minutes or so. Uh, be happy to um, set up a, a more comprehensive demo and, and run through the software uh, more fully with any of you uh, should you uh, want to do that. But um, today is just a quick uh, kind of a 10,000 foot view of what we offer in the PIPS Pro. But basically, we can automate uh, the analysis of over 30 TG142 recommended QA tests. And that includes your MV and KV imagers. Um, the uh, the 2D uh, planar QA uh, as well as our cone beam CT and the cone beam CT will utilize the, uh, the the cat fan from Phantom Laboratories typically included with any of the uh, uh, cone beam systems from Varian or Electa uh, our uh, MV and KV uh, 2D planar QA uh, uses our uh, QC uh, KV and our QC3 Phantoms uh, so we can uh, provide those as well. MLC QA tests, we have both image-based tests, which include the picket fence test, uh, leaf transmission and leaf position tests. And then we also have log file-based tests, which is a uh, true leaf speed 
uh, analysis where we actually look and calculate and uh, and um, give uh, feedback and and output on each individual leaf speed within the uh, the MLC uh, chain. So that's something that's kind of unique to ours. A lot of the other uh, will do an average or a, um, a kind of a dose rate averaging across the uh, across the whole field. We actually look at each individual leaf speed and uh, report on that. We have a stereotactic module, our automated Winston LUTs, uh, which basically uh, gives you the ability to kind of check your uh, rotational uh, accuracy of the machine. And this, this is available not only in the full package as you see here, uh, but also on its own as a standalone module, we offer the, uh, the stereotactic module, which is the automated Winston LUTs package. And then we have a few different uh, Winston LUTs phantoms for that. Uh, we do radiation light field. And then we have a, a phantom, our FC2 phantom for that, as well as a, a central uh, uh, crosshair uh, detector uh, phantom as well that's part of that uh, test. We do star shot analysis, um, gantry film and collimator. So I'm sorry, gantry, uh, <laughs> gantry couch and collimator, uh, all done with the, uh, the EPID except for one of the tests is uh, requiring film. And then we also have an IGRT module, which basically is kind of a, a warehouse uh, of for your for your daily 2D, 2D, and 3D, 3D uh, uh, matching uh, components, and then you can trend those across uh, across a uh, calendar time. But uh, kind of getting into the, uh, the the nuts and bolts of it, um, we have a uh, um, a centralized uh, database capability or a local, so it, it's it's kind of designed to build and grow as you need it. So if you're just a small facility with uh, with one or two Linux, you know, we, we can kind of uh, um, customize and suit that as well as the largest uh, of the large um, group, uh, something like a, a US Oncology or Genesis Care, things like that, which may have a, a whole host of uh, facilities under their, uh, under their umbrella. Uh, so it's scalable for that enterprise or for that single small facility. Uh, very easy department setup and user setup. Uh, you can see here in the lower uh, lower left, we've got our system manager, which breaks it down by divisions, which would be your Genesis Cares or your US Oncologies or your um, your uh, groups like that. Then we have the individual departments would be the individual facility, hospital, or clinic itself. Users, um, setting up your users. The nice thing is we have different levels of security. So you can set those uh, those levels up. If you have someone who's just going to be performing the tests, they have maybe a, maybe a lower uh, security level, or we have someone who wants to be able to go in and set thresholds or add new Linux or or things like that and do some adjustments to uh, to the system manager itself. Uh, gives you higher uh, security for that, um, allowing you to uh, to access just about everything there. Uh, has Citrix server support for those enterprise-wide systems, uh, should that be desired. There's a centralized data access uh, for, for enterprise-wide. Uh, so if you want to take a look at what's going on from facility to facility, you can easily access and, and trend that data uh, accordingly as well and compare. And then we also uh, have set baselines, which, uh, which give you the ability to have what we call quick select. So you can go right to that uh, quick select check that test you want to perform, and then the, uh, the images or the, um, the data you get from the LINAC will run through the, the correct algorithms and those results will automatically be, uh, be presented. So uh, as a little more information of you know, setting up your LINAC is very easy. As you can see here, you set up your machine ID in the department you're in, the manufacturer, whether you've got a 6D couch or 3D couch, et cetera. Um, on the right, you'll see the uh, what we have the thresholds uh, page, and these are set uh, default to the TG142 uh, recommendations, but they can be loosened or tightened as uh, as you see fit uh, within your department. So uh, some tests you might want to tighten up, some tests you may want to loosen a little bit, uh, depending on your uh, uh, preferences. Also have what we call our QA results dashboard, and this pops up uh, giving you the basically the, the results uh, of the, uh, the the last test that was done. So you can see here we do it uh, in a um, couple of different ways. We have color coding, green for passing, obviously yellow for a caution, 
uh, red for a failure, but they're also um, for for any uh, color uh, color vision issues. Uh, we have um, red, green, and yellow. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, shapes, uh, square, triangle, and uh, and circle for uh, for that as well. Uh, gives you a quick, easy review for your pass fail and alerts for your last uh, performed tests. Now, kind of jumping into the tests themselves, uh, the planar imaging, like I mentioned, we have both M MV and KV uh, imaging tests for for the two dimensional for the uh, for the EPID panel as well as the um, the two D uh, KV imaging, and we've got two different phantoms for that, like I mentioned. But basically, it's a very quick and easy uh, result page. You have uh, the, the the results there, your resolution uh, results, as well as your uniformity, your noise, and your contrast to noise, and then a MTF curve for that resolution. And you can see the software on the right, the phantom image. You'll see uh, it find automatically will find those regions of interest of the phantom, run that calculation uh, automatically, and and give you these results. It utilizes both the phantom image and below the flood field. The flood field will find five five points around the uh, around the phantom. Or I'm sorry, around the flood field, and then two two more points of the uh, of the darkest uh, spot and the lightest spot within the uh, within the image, and return those uh, uniformity and and contrast and noise uh, results as well. So everything is done again, like I said, automatically. You select the image, and it will calculate uh, automatically for you. It gives you uh, the spatial resolution, the uniformity, contrast, and the contrast to noise. And then we also, uh, as I mentioned, uh, cone beam utilizing the uh, uh, typically existing cat fan phantoms in your department, the 503 and the 504, which come either with the uh, typically with the Varian or Electa um, CBCT. We also can handle the uh, the 600 series if you want to do some diagnostic uh, checks as well. But the um, the tests themselves are automatically done when you when you bring the images in. It will find what we call the key slice. So it will key off that slice, and then depending on the phantom, will return the uh, the correct results in this overview here, uh, showing you the uh, the test results again in the uh, red, green, and yellow uh, result. And um, you can click on any of those on the page, and it will automatically go to that particular slice. And you'll see a, uh, a results uh, page specifically here, like you see here for the geometric distortion and the slice thickness and the low contrast visibility utilizing this particular slice of the, uh, of the uh, cat fan. So they're automated tests for the uniformity of noise, the Hounsfield unit constancy for your densities, the geometric distortion, the slice thickness, the low contrast visibility, uh, the low contrast detectability, as well, so a um, number of different tests uh, automatically again uh, performed by the uh, by the software. There's no uh, no extra mouse clicks. Everything is done automatically. Moving now into our um, leaf speed tests, uh, we have um, as I mentioned log file based tests uh, for for different leaf speed uh, and capabilities. Uh, we do the travel speed, so we actually calculate the leaf speed loss for each individual leaf. We do uh, segmented uh, IMRT, so step and shoot. We also do moving window IMRT from the four uh, cardinal gantry angles. And then we also do a uh, repeat, uh, repeatability test. And you'll see the results page here typically uh, where um, each individual leaf from the, uh, the left bank and the right bank are represented. And typically this is kind of a, a fairly typical uh, results uh, return where the outer leaves, because they're not used as much and there may be some, uh, some extra, extra um, stickiness on those because they don't lubricate like they would uh, in, internally for the middle uh, leaves because they're not used as much, you might see a little bit of slowdown, a little bit of error on those outer leaves. But the, uh, the inner um, middle leaves that, that are used uh, more regularly return obviously here a much better uh, result all in a, a passing uh, location. And what we have here, this leaf speed difference, this is your your worst uh, 10 culprits, if you will, the, the worst offenders of, uh, of the leaf speed uh, loss, both from the left bank and the right bank. So you can actually see what those um, particular leaves are. And as you uh, are in the software, if you hover over the uh, individual leaves, it will return a, a tooltip uh, pop-up telling you what the, uh, what the results are for each individual leaf. 
And then you can always, uh, you can you can see we've got a few different patterns built in uh, for the uh, for the leaf speed tests and the repeat, repeatability tests as well. And you can run those and kind of kind of track and see how those uh, those leaf movements are uh, are generated within the uh, within the software. Uh, MLC test. Uh, this is our, our image based test. We've got the multi port picket fence test. We've got the leaf uh, position accuracy as well as uh, leaf transmission. So we've got um, those, uh, we used to uh, have a, a specific phantom for that, uh, but you can either use the phantom or you can actually just use your, your Graticule tray now. So it uh, gives you the, uh, the functionality uh, phantomless tests uh, for this uh, particular group of tests as well. And you'll see here uh, shows the, uh, just kind of a representation of the, uh, of the leaf edge positions and then the, um, the results here as well for your different banks at your different positions, your left uh, 70 uh, millimeters, um, 40, et cetera, going across uh, for the right and left banks. The uh, radiation light field coincidence test, uh, like I said, this utilizes what we call our FC2 phantom. And you can see that represented here in this image. It gives you the ability to do a 15 by 15 or a 10 by 10 uh, field. You can see the fiducials uh, a little better here, but the software will go and find those fiducials. In this case, it's set up for a 15 by 15. Um, we'll find those fiducials at the corners. It knows where to look and knows the distances uh, the, in, within the algorithm to, uh, to calculate upon. So it will, it will find those. It will return back the, uh, the radiation field edge, which is in green. A little hard to see on my screen. I don't know if you can see it as well. And then the uh, the, um, the the light field uh, representation in the red. And then there's also a uh, like I mentioned, there's a central axis uh, central crosshair uh, phantom as well that you line up to your uh, to your crosshair, and it will give you a report on that as well. And you'll see the report page here uh, summarized very easily, um, showing you your your positions here for your radiation light field displacement, your radiation crosshair displacement, your light field crosshair displacement, and the numeric uh, results as well. So those are automatically calculated as soon as you uh, bring in the phantom image. Uh, as I mentioned also, uh, star shot analysis uh, utilizing EPITR film. We do uh, gantry, collimator, and couch. It's a one-click analysis. Basically, uh, you bring in your image. You just need to click somewhere in the center. It doesn't have to be exact, but uh, just kind of giving the software notification of where uh, where to start looking for the result uh, um, crossing of all the uh, of all the rays of the uh, of the star shot, and it will return a, uh, a, a results page similar to this here using the TG142 uh, recommended result, which is uh, kind of the the smallest circle that will incorporate all of the rays as you can see here and we'll show you that uh, minimum diameter of that uh, of that circle accordingly so that's your uh, that's your um, star shot analysis the uh, as I mentioned automated Winston Lutz test uh, brings in anywhere from three to eight images uh, that's your choice obviously the uh, the more images you bring in the more accurate the uh, the results will be but basically uh, utilizing any number of, uh, of Winston Lutz phantoms it does not have to be uh, necessarily ours, but we do offer a few different ones. We offer the one you see here, which is just a uh, simple pointer uh, phantom with a, uh, with a ball uh, um, target at the, at the end. Or we also have a Winston Lutz cube, which is a small uh, cube with the center ball uh, settled in the, uh, the set in the center of the, uh, of the phantom. And then we also have what we call a, um, a 3D uh, advanced Winston Lutz um, phantom, which basically it's a similar pointer to this, but it has micrometer uh, adjustments for the X, Y, and Z direction. So you can make those adjustments accordingly. But basically, uh, as far as the test goes, uh, again, it's all automated. You bring your images in, the calculation is automatically done, but um, it will automatically uh, find the radiation edge noted here in green. And then the uh, radiation center noted by the green cross. Find the uh, that ball center as well noted by the uh, yellow cross. And then give you uh, your your deviations in the uh, in the in plane and cross plane uh, 
results, but then it will calculate that uh, recommended uh, ideal 3D shifts and report that right here for you. You can utilize both uh, MLC-based and cone-based uh, stereo tactics. So if you are using a, a cone-based uh, system, you can uh, utilize that. That's not a problem, or uh, or the MLCs. The uh, IGRT module, like I said, it's more of a uh, a library um, data data storage warehousing and trending um, than any particular test. We utilize uh, a uh, a phantom similar to our uh, our Mimi phantom, if you're familiar with that. If not, uh, please again feel free to take a look at our website. Uh, the Mimi phantom gives you the ability to uh, to kind of check your perpendicularity and your coincidence of your MV and your and your KV imagers. Uh, will allow you to do um, couch offsets and check your your couch offsets. Uh, but as far as the imaging goes, it's it's doing that uh, 2D, 2D matching with the KV, the 2D, 2D uh, matching with the MV, and the 3D, 3D matching with the cone beam CT. Um, gives you the ability to enter in the, uh, the found um, X, Y, and Z uh, deviations for a particular day. And then you can print out a, uh, a report showing you those, uh, those any uh, deviations on a trend line or in a, in a tab, tabular uh, format as well. And uh, as I mentioned earlier in the uh, in the um, webinar, we also now have a, a package called QA Fusion, which basically uh, allows PIPS Pro uh, results to be uploaded automatically into our uh, QA Pilot uh, QA management software. Uh, so basically, the uh, the it looks a similar, somewhat similar to our uh, our dashboard. Uh, that I showed you earlier, but uh, has the ability to uh, to pick and choose what tests you want to uh, send over to uh, to QA Pilot, and then your uh, your results in QA Pilot looks up something like this. So you can you can easily uh, take a look and and uh, document and uh, and store the uh, the the test results for the various tests you're doing through the course of the uh, through the course of the test uh, results from from PIPS Pro. And then uh, while while it will also storehouse it, will also um, produce uh, different reports. Here's for example a, uh, a test result for the uh, for the cone beam CT, showing you some of the uh, some of the capabilities or some of the uh, results there for uh, for contrast and the pass or fail. So looks good there. So we have that uh, that functionality to automatically push that to QA Pilot, and then the QA Pilot will allow you to kind of keep that data. So if you're looking for your ACR accreditation or any kind of um, regulatory uh, accreditation, things like that, you'll have all that data um, managed within the uh, QA Pilot software. And like I mentioned, uh, we also uh, have different webinars uh, on schedule for, for QA Pilot as well. So feel free to check the webinar section of our website at standardimaging.com and you can, you can uh, register for a uh, for a QA pilot uh, demo as well and you'll kind of see how that is run through and all the uh, it's a very powerful uh, software allows you to set your schedules it gives you um, the review of all your uh, all your test results uh, allows full comprehensive reporting of all those test results um, there is a, a library in there where you can you can put documents of various types including like maybe TG142 or or some of your uh, your your printed out PDF reports, things like that, just so they're all in one kind of concise place. And there's also um, a nice uh, nice templates to do custom tests. So not only will you be able to have the the pre-programmed tests that we offer for um, input of the TG142, but you can also set up your own uh, individual custom tests as well. It's a, like I said, it's a pretty powerful package. So. Um, not too long ago, we just uh, released our, our version uh, 5.7 and a few different things we've added. Uh, we've enhanced the ability for the marker detection and the cone beam uh, CT module uh, to make that uh, even more accurate, but also easier to, uh, to kind of localize and find those key slice detector or key slice markers uh, and make that detection easier so you can uh, move forward pretty easier with the, uh, with the software. 
we've uh, kind of enhanced the Electa uh, versa integrity, the TRF file ana analysis uh, for the leaf speed module. And as I mentioned, uh, we have that direct uh, upload from PIPS Pro into uh, QA Pilot now as well. So it kind of gives you a full uh, full package. Like I said, we do the um, you know the full the full round uh, rounding of all the all the different uh, TG142 tests. So uh, some of the uh, some of the advantages, um, it's everything is quantifiable. It's not a quality. Uh, it's not qu uh, qualitative. It's quantitative. Um, and everything is repeatable. It makes it easier, like I said, to either uh, become compliant or maintain compliance uh, with uh, TG142. Has a uh, centralized database for scalability for you know individual specific needs from the largest of the uh, large groups to the smallest of the single uh, single um, the uh, the single facility with one or two Linux. Uh, the results dashboard. Uh, for a single view of all the most recent results. Right, my PowerPoint has seemed to have paused. There we go. Uh, everything again, like I said, is quantifi quantifiable with uh, precise um, calibrated phantoms. It's a very intuitive, easier uh, user interface, very easy to use. Uh, nice feature, again, like I said, is once baselines are set up, you'll have the ability to choose uh, what we call the quick selects, and you can go right to the test so you don't have to, uh, uh, just uh, from an easy pull down, drop down menu, uh, you don't have to hunt and hunt and look for the different test uh, functionalities. And uh, it's, a, it's a smart software, it locates all the, uh, all the targets, all the fiducials, all the field edge, so there's less mouse clicks. Uh, Across the uh, the across the board for uh, for the Pips Pro, and it's over uh, 30 different uh, TG140 tests, 142 tests in in one package. Uh, again, covering your uh, your monthly and um, quarterly uh, test uh, very easily. And we do have uh, information uh, on those what tests it, all those tests that it does uh, provide uh, uh, results for. Feel free to uh, Email sales at standardimaging.com and just request that uh, that brochure, or you can go on our website uh, and uh, and find all that um, that uh, data as well, all that uh, all the all the information on the different tests. But uh, that's kind of all I have today. Um, I just wanted, like I said, give you a quick overview. If you want to take a look at the actual software, I'd be happy to uh, to do that. We can set up a time uh, again. Sales at standardimaging.com. If you uh, if you send an email to that, it's telling you you're interested. Uh, your your specific uh, regional uh, rep uh, representative will get in touch with you and get in touch with me to set something up, and we can schedule that accordingly, and we can uh, run through the uh, the software. We do also, uh, at, uh, upon request, uh, offer um, demonstration software too that has a uh, a 30 day uh, um, expiration on it, so you can kind of get it, uh, get in there. There's demo images uh, uh, that you can pull in and take a look at it and see just how the software works. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's kind of uh, PIPS Pro today in a nutshell. So if you have uh, any, uh, any additional needs, please feel free to uh, send us an email. I'm going to take a quick peek to see if there's any questions. It says, do you support other non-standard imaging phantoms? We uh, just a couple. We do um, we do support uh, like the, the leads phantom uh, for that, uh, but typically the uh, the phantom package is part of the uh, the software package, so it includes the uh, the QC3 and the uh, QCKV and the FC2 phantom. Looks like that is the only question. If uh, if there's any more, um, feel free to uh, again just to, just to email us and uh, we'll we'll be able to uh, to uh, get those uh, questions answered for you. And one final thing um, is, like I said, if you want to have uh, uh, any of your colleagues uh, take a look at this presentation, it will be available on our website, or you will also uh, get a link emailed to you uh, for for the uh, for the presentation. You can. Uh, revisit it or share it uh, to your heart's content.
otherwise, uh, thank you very much for your time, and I hope you all have uh, have a good day and uh, found this uh, presentation helpful. Thanks very much.